Hello, Southern Solitaire fam. Today we are going to be unboxing the Oracle of the Hidden World. So it is by Lucy Cavendish and artwork by Gilbert Williams. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box. I said I did take the plastic off so we didn't have to struggle with that before we started. But again, this one has a piece of paper in it also. So we're going to go ahead and put the piece of paper in the front top box with it. This is the book that it comes with. We'll flip through it quick again. The um. I actually like when they're sideways like this. It kind of reminds me of like a postcard a little bit. So I do like when they change the angle of the cards. I do have to say that. So that right away caught my attention. Um, but I do really much like this book. The colors are beautiful. It looks very well written. Um, again, it is very detailed. It tells you what each and every card means and what you need to know. So we'll go ahead and put that there for now. We'll get the cards out. I'm going to put this box inside of here for now and just to move it out of the way. And then we're going to take the plastic off. So we're going to start with card one. And again, like I said, I do like the ones where they are turned sideways sometimes. Like I said, it does remind me a lot of a postcard. And I think it's very pretty. So, but again, these are also very beautiful colors too as well. So um, right away we have the healing temple. So restoration, cure, and safety. So that is going to be the healing temple. And these are the back of the cards, by the way. I know I didn't show you all that, so I do apologize. So um, this is going to be the path of the gods. Dec decisions, meetings, and future plans. So I like that again. It's very beautiful artwork. It looks like paintings, and they're very pretty. They remind me, like I said, they do remind me of like a postcard type of, you know, beautiful artwork. And, um, you know, nice tropical places or, you know, beautiful places. So, um, the mother awakens compassion, nurture, and guidance. And you can see the rainbow coming from her heart. So, I would kind of compare that to um, Gaia a little bit, that picture. So, the next one is going to be the Isle of Wonders. Revel uh, revelations, teaching, and discovery. So, I kind of like this going back to a certain area where there's things that have happened in the past that maybe people didn't don't so much remember, but... Um, there's a lot of knowledge in these areas. And this is why I say why. Because the next one is the uh, Relics of Lemuria. Atlanta, Lemuria is part of, at least some parts of it that I know of, were parts of Atlantis. So it is saying fragments, memory, and reclaiming. So there are fragments of Atlantis as well as memories. But nobody really knows much about it. So the, uh, the Light Priestess, actually. So this is going to be the Light Priestess. I don't know why it's out of focus. I do apologize. So this is going to be the Light Priestess. And the Light Priestess is going to basically um, have galactic wisdom and cosmic ritual. So that is what she is doing in this deck. Now it's going to turn the other way. I said, which is okay too. So again, uh, seven. The Tree of Illumination. Truth, Revelations, and Understanding. So I think this is when someone is waiting finally to get the truth and it's kind of come in like the moon because you can see this person kind of overshadowing it a bit. So they are kind of like staring at it. So it's kind of like they know what's going on. So the next card is going to be the, um, the laminal dance, which means uh, delicacy, fragility, and um, transits. So that is what that is going to stand for. So I think it is going to show again, these rock, this rock is stable on these two. Or the, if this is three, I can't, I'm not sure if one's behind it. It does say three words, so I'm going to assume it's three rocks. But they are, um, they are basically holding them in place. So they are showing you that. So the next one is going to be the angel gate. So the angel gate is going to represent cleansing, protection, and blessing. Which is beautiful because you can kind of, it almost seems like, like, a waterfall but a bit of like a um, flash of lightning or something in the background at the same time and then like a bright white dove or something like that so it is very beautiful much like they said the angel it does look like angel gate so the next card is going to be the aurora garden so it's going to be begin the beginning initiate an origin so it's going to be where everything started and was initiated and it's going to be where it all started from again because it is the origin so the next one you're going to have is sky whoops excuse me 
The next one you're going to have is Skyfire. So this basically represents messages, channels, and information. So, or information. So you can see right here, this person's face is right here in the mountains. They are holding this knowledge and they are going to share it. So the next one is the secret of Camelot. So this would be with the knowledge they're holding. So the authority of spirit. So this person has, they are kind of wielding this um, sword, which is lit up, it's lit up, which is letting you know that they have the authority of the spirit to do so. And that's why they are by the water and they are able to almost walk across through here to be approved. So the next one is going to be the Dawn Watcher. And as you can see, she is watching over everything. Whether it be water, land, doesn't matter. So caretaker, guardian, and support. So she is basically the, the watcher of those things. So that is why she can go wherever and watch. Now the next thing is going to be the crystal path. Mineral spirits and crystal beginnings. So I think that's very beautiful. You can see a giant crystal in the background and the crystals aligning the pathway to your destination. So again, a very beautiful deck. I'm really enjoying this deck so far um, quite a bit. So uh, the colors are amazing, the details are amazing, the messages are amazing. I would give it like, I mean the card stock's amazing, like a triple plus, <laughs> if you can even get an A triple plus. But um, the dolphin collar, so pure, joyful, friendship, and loving help. So that is what dolphins are known to do. So the next one is the leap. So the leap basically is ecstasy, bl uh, bliss, and uh, belief. So whenever you take this leap, it's kind of like the fool. You have to believe that something's going to catch you and that everything's going to be okay. So the next one is going to be, um, it looks like this fairy energy. It just spells a little bit different. But it does say growth, expansion, and flowering. So you can see where she's sending the energy to this to try to make that happen. So the next one is going to be the green man. Now the green man comes up quite a bit. But he is um, also the rising energy surge and fertility. So um, that is when that usually when he shows up. It kind of reminds me of the male version of the em <coughs> of the empress. Um, as far as like the femininity of it. Not so much, you know. But um, the healing temple of the lunar light. So life cycles, energy healing, and communication. So the next one is going to be healing the earth. So that's going to be love humility and respect and the reason why is because obviously we need love obviously everybody's gonna have to kind of like suck down their pride a little bit at times and then have respect for one another so that's how those three things go together so the last the next one we're gonna have is the homeward bound traveler completion reunion and return so that is what this person is doing. They are going home to return back to their roots because they feel that they have been completed. Now, now this could even be returning to source. But either way, they are they have completed something. They are ready for their reunion and their return. So in this one is going to be 22. Number 22 is going to be insight. Kind of looks a little bit like the hermit. A little. You do see his uh, glass ball here, his light. He um, does have the, the knowledge. He is writing, but is saying magical tools. Or it could be the magician because of the magical tools, but it is saying, um, you know, magical tools, writing, and um, star crafting. So I think this is more like a kind of like an astrologist, like kind of getting into that kind of stuff. Again, um, maybe the magician getting into a little bit of astrology or something of the sort. So the next one is going to be kindred spirit. Um, spirits, companions, guides, and comfort. So as you can see, this person's uh, kindred spirit has came towards them. So they are looking them in the face. And they are trying to um, understand better what's going on exactly. Because I don't think they see it yet. So let's go ahead and see what's going on next. So the next one is going to be Light Dancer. So Illumination, the Radiant, uh, the radiant Self, and Shining Gold. So I do believe this card uh, fits... Uh, the you know, the drawing on this card fits the, the uh, description of it very well. As far as light dancer, you do see where they look like they are nothing but light and they're dancing among the stars. They're illuminating, they're bright, and they are shining. Their soul is bright. So they are, they do seem to be extremely happy. So the next one is going to be open like the lotus. So flowering spirit, um, revelation, and maturity. And maturity. So basically... If lotus flower, I believe, does not uh, bloom into it is mature, but it, it does take a while. It takes a while for it to do so. And then um, 
it's almost like once it does, it's so beautiful. You can't help but stare at it like they're like a revelation. You know, like it's you can see where all of the hard work went into making this flower absolutely beautiful. And again, you see lotus flowers a lot in these. So next we have meditation, peace, relief, and sanctuary. I greatly believe and deeply believe in meditation. Um, I think it can help take you out of a lot of negative situations that you cannot remove yourself from at that, at that time. But it can kind of take you out of it for that moment. So the next one is going to be full moon temple, which is going to be celebration, pink, and translucent. Uh, mo or transcendent moment, excuse me. So it exactly what it sounds like. It's a full moon temple. It is illuminating everything on the light. You can see where it's kind of like on its own floating. It kind of reminds me of the never ending story where how all of the planets were breaking up at the end, floating away. But it is saying celebration. So they are celebrating that it is being illuminated and that it is hitting its peak. But it is also a transcendent moment for them to also um, go ahead and excel and remember. So. The mountain goddess is going to be next. So the mountain goddess is number 28, her high vibration, ma uh, mindfulness, and power of the mind. So as you can see that this is the mountain and then the spirit's kind of lingering over it. So, um, or, you know, archangel, whatever you'd like to look at it as ancestor, but you can see her hand, her face, and then her body and her hand over here. So she is trying to make sure it goes through well. The next card is going to be mountain lights. So that is basically lights, uh, light beings, portals, and subtle earning, uh, subtle energies. So this is going to be energies. Actually, a lot of people say they do see energies off of mountain areas, and they might have portals somewhat in those areas to where we lead to other um, places, like such as Atlantis and things like that. But again, that is a theory. But that is what these cards are saying that those things do exist to an extent. There is such such like uh, such things other than just this realm. And you can get there from this realm. So sacred journey is how you're going to get there, which is introversion, seeker, and self-knowledge. So basically, if you follow this path that is lit up, you will be able to get into this, which is going to be um, self-knowledge. But it is a sacred journey. You have to take it on your own. So the next thing is going to be oracle. So this is going to be something that somebody says, sacred living, spirit speaking, and intervention. So this is when somebody comes, uh, when you go to a tarot card reader or somebody that is good at giving um, advice, you know, life advice and things like that, that is going to be usually an oracle. They are giving you advice just much like these cards are. These are oracles. So, uh, resurrection. So, comeback, rebirth, and renewal. So, basically, something has crumbled, kind of like the tower, but it's coming back even better than before. So, that is why it is rebirthing into something new, because it needed to rebirth so that it can come back to something greater. So um, now you have the gathering, which is going to be 33. This is community, um, kinship, and compassionship. So basically, you can kind of see where they're um, all coming to this area where it's lit up. They're all inside, and they're all kind of celebrating together as one. Now the next one is going to be the spirit of the spring, which is going to be freedom, action, and power. So you do see very much how she's holding life in her hands right here with the bird and the bird is looking at her like he's very much depending on her to take care of it and she's going to she's saying that you know you can see that with her hair it's in her hair the cherry blossoms things like that and she is saying the freedom action and power and that is what she is going to do in this situation to make sure that it blossoms and grows and has its full potential so the next one is going to be the pathway, direction, purpose, and change. So people are, uh, it is time to take a pathway, a different direction to get more purpose in your life. And it might cause change within your life, but that is the purpose of it. So again, temple of dreams. So sacred dreams, prophecies, and dream journeys are what's going to happen. So this might be whenever you're having dreams constantly about places you might want to go, things you might want to do. This is when I say usually write it down so that way you can remember. But it is saying these are sacred dreams. They're prophecies. You've been there before. You've probably experienced them before or you've planned them out in the near future. And they are dream journeys that you have coming up for yourself. So the next thing is going to be the mirror. So our lives past lives and dimensional lives so this is whenever we get ready to pass that feel bit we start to notice um within the mirror even if you look in the mirror now if you stare in it long enough it's almost like a lot of people will say they don't recognize themselves and it's because you've had many lives so you know you, there are going to be times where you're not going to recognize you know you're growing spiritually so you won't recognize yourself all the time and it's not until you come into your own so it's um the hidden world Changing consciousness, awareness, and extrasensory perception. So this is what you need to do to be able to come into that energy. So the next one is going to be the gift. And this is what happens once you do come into it. 
present um, honoring and offering. So you are able to be offered here by this uh, source or angel or whatever, you know, whoever comes forth, ancestor, to be uh, welcomed into this gift here, which is all light and bright and all well-knowing. So the next one is going to be the secret. So this one is going to be number 40. So it is the unknown, mysterious, and wonders. So again, when you go through here, you don't know exactly what's behind here. But it is a secret. But the secret does have mysterious, wondrous things, even though they are unknown. So it's saying to, you know, take chances even if you don't know what the outcome might be sometimes. The seer. Now she is holding glass ball because she can see into the future. So future prospects decisions to make and seeking the guidance so therefore she is looking into the future uh, much like you would with your cards or your crystals or anything else to try to see what is going on in the near future so um the tree of souls which also again kind of confirms that yes um, we were given that gift by source since many people like to think that it's not approved by source it is so um the tree of souls collective wisdom kinship uh, groups and libraries so basically this is almost kind of like um the college uh, like library type thing to me it's like gonna be everything all knowledge all knowing it is the tree of souls and that's when you meet up with your um with your soul tribe at a per at a certain point possibly so the next one you have is water spirit so water spirit is emotions which run water you know water run emotions and then memory and life force because water brings life and next one you have is returning home so transition life between lifetimes and loving welcome. So once it's time for you to transition home, this is what it's going to be like. You're going to see all of these souls, ancestors, spirit guides, archangels coming towards you to bring you into this light with them. And this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The, uh, the, the, you know, the artwork that they have around it, the flowers, the detail, the poles, the trees behind it, the light itself. So I said, I would highly recommend this deck highly. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's nothing. I was not disappointed by one of them at all. Everything was beautiful. Everything was self-explanatory. Very, very nice deck. So if you're looking for a Hidden World Oracle deck, this would be the one for you. If you're looking for something new, just to give some advice. Again, it is the Oracle of the Hidden World by Lucy Cavendish. And the artwork is by Gilbert Williams. So again, I want to thank y'all for joining me for this unboxing. I hope that y'all did enjoy it. Like I said, and then I do have a couple more that I will be doing for y'all. But y'all have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Southern Soul Tarot fam.